In general, the higher the degree, the higher the salary. So why aren't more people pursuing higher degrees? The short answer, choices and trade-offs. You have a budget of $10 to spend on either burgers or bus tickets. Each burger costs $2 and each bus ticket costs 50 cents. How many of each could you buy with your $10 budget? If you bought only burgers, you could buy five, but then you would not have enough money left to buy bus tickets. If you bought only bus tickets, you could buy 20, but then you would be hungry without any burgers. For each burger you buy, how many bus tickets will you forgo buying? The answer is four. This is the opportunity cost of buying a burger. One burger or four bus tickets. Opportunity cost is the cost of the next best option. In the case of buying burgers, it's bus tickets. Let's expand on the concept of opportunity cost with a common decision. Do I pack a lunch for work or do I eat out? In this scenario, eating out costs $8 and bringing a lunch from home costs $3. The opportunity cost for eating out is $5, which is the difference between the options, eight minus three. At first, $5 may not seem like a big deal, but if we did it consistently for a year, the costs add up to $1,250, the price of a nice vacation. Marginal analysis is a driving factor for individuals as they decide how to fulfill their needs and wants. Margin or marginal in economics means uh, the extra amount of something. To give an example of how this is used in economics, we first must uh, introduce one more concept, utility. Utility is the satisfaction received when an individual consumes a product or service. If you consume a cookie, you will experience a certain amount of utility or satisfaction from eating the cookie. Utility can be measured in a unit of measurement called utils. Now let's put the two together. As you eat one cookie, you receive a certain amount of utility or satisfaction. As you eat a second cookie, you receive an extra or marginal utility for eating a second cookie. This continues on and on for each additional cookie you eat. As we continue to eat cookies, we experience the effects of one of the laws of economics the law of diminishing marginal utility. This law says that as we consume more of a good or service, the utility we get from additional units of the good or service tends to become smaller than what we receive from earlier units. You can try this by eating an entire box of Oreo cookies. The first cookie is most likely more satisfying than the last cookie. As we use economic theories to study choice within budget constraints, we need to remember that we are looking to the future. We are asking ourselves, what can I consume next based on my budget that will bring me the most marginal utility? We must avoid taking into account the budget that has already been spent. These types of previously spent costs are called sunk costs and should not influence future choice.